Hi there everybody, my name is Melanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the owner of Lost and Found. And one of the things that I do here at Lost and Found is redo old furniture. So I am finishing up this chest of drawers today and I'm actually going to apply this gorgeous redesign with Prima Transfer to this top drawer. And I thought I would bring you guys along with me, show you the process and give you a chance to see really up close what it looks like to work with a transfer and hopefully get you to the place where you feel good about trying one on your own. All right, so if you've never worked with a redesign with Prima transfer before, they come in these tubes like this and if you're looking at them in the store, I want to show you kind of the trick to figuring out what's actually in here. If you flip it around on the back, they show you the full design of the transfer and how it comes in these two sheets. And then they also give you the full measurements. Okay, so sometimes it's hard to tell just if you're looking at this tube, you want to flip it around and you want to look at this part back here. Now we do have these stocked in our online store. I have close to a hundred designs of them. Some of these big, there's a couple smaller ones. Um, so there's a lot to pick from. And if you're looking at them online, then usually you see this picture, the full design, and there is a description of the measurements. So you want to be aware of the measurements because you want to make sure that the design you pick is going to fit the size of your piece. Now, some of the transfers are individual elements that you can kind of cut and position however you want. Some of them, like this one, is more of one whole design. And you guys can see it's kind of all meant to go together. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could start cutting it up. Um, but this is one that you kind of want to make sure you have room to actually use it as a full design. Now, I've measured it up and it's going to come pretty close to covering this whole top drawer. I think I'm going to have a little bit of room here on the sides, but um, this is just about the perfect size for this piece. Also, if you're new to starting out with using transfers, really try to find furniture that is completely flat. That's one of the reasons why I actually bought this piece, because all the drawers were totally flat and I thought that'd be a great piece to do a transfer on these things are wafer thin and so if you're using them on anything that has curves or trim and you have to go around it it's just a lot harder to apply it takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of practice and the transfer does tend to want to crack so if you're just starting find something that's just a nice nice big flat piece that's going to make it really easy for you to do So the first step is to just line the transfer up on the drawer and then whenever I'm doing a straight edge like this, I like to just trim along the edge just right up to the design. It helps me see it a little bit better and line it up straighter. I also trimmed off the edges just because in my experience the less of that paper I have kind of flapping around the easier the transfer is to work with. All right you see how it peels off that wax paper backing you want to keep that wax paper backing on until you're ready to adhere the transfer because if it accidentally comes off and sticks to something you're definitely going to lose some of your design. And then by far the most challenging part is just getting it lined up where it's going to go on straight and not crooked. And that did take me a few minutes to do it. And you guys, once you stick it down, like I said, it is not moving. So you really have to be careful in this part of the process. Then I just slowly pulled that wax paper backing off and pressed the rest of the design down with my hands.
in each transfer package they give you this little wooden tool and that's what you're going to use to kind of rub over the surface of the transfer to help it adhere to your surface. Now I want to show you what I did on the edges. Um, I like to leave a little bit of trim on the edges. I don't cut the design exactly to the edge uh, because I feel like if I do that then that there's just more chance for error. So I leave a little bit to fold over. And that's how I finished the bottom and the top of the drawer was just by folding the design over the edge and then rubbing it down to transfer onto the bottom and top of the drawer. Okay, you can see here that I was able to get all of that bottom part transferred and so now I just started focusing on rubbing the flat top part so that I could start taking off that um, top piece of plastic sheeting. Now um, this one I'm gonna be honest like this transfer was just having a little bit of trouble releasing from that plastic sheeting so I had to work very very slowly. Okay, so the key to these, you guys, is really to just be patient and be slow and steady as you're looking to remove that plastic sheeting. As I would pull it back, I could see areas that weren't all the way um, transferred off of that onto the drawer. And so I just kept rubbing it, put that little plastic sheet back down, would rub it some more until I felt like it was really released well onto the drawer. You can also kind of try the technique of rubbing as you are pulling. That was something that I did as well and had great luck with that. But again, it's just all about going slow. Once you finally get all of that plastic sheeting pulled off, it is just so rewarding and it, the design is absolutely gorgeous. It looks painted on. It's just beautiful. All right, so here we are. We've got the front of it all done and I think it looks beautiful over this color. By the way, this is Fusion Mineral Paint Bayberry, if you're wondering what the color is. Um, a couple things. This transfer was a little bit harder to release off of the film than some of the others that I've worked with. I'm not completely sure why um, humidity can affect that. If the transfer, um, maybe if it's an older design that I've had for a little while, sometimes the glue can break down a little bit, but it wasn't a problem. Um, the entire design did transfer. I just had to go through the process very slowly. So um, if you ever come across one and you're having some problems like that, just make sure that you peel off the backing very, very slowly so that you notice any spots that aren't adhering. Then you can put the top back down and rub it a little bit more. So um, it looks perfect. I didn't lose any of the design. It just took me a little bit longer than some of the other ones that I've done. Um, and again, when you're working with one whole design, it can just take longer rather than if I had just, you know, done a flower, say that was just this size. Um, but I'm really, really happy with it. 
Um, I think it's going to be a nice accent to this piece of furniture. Okay, so you may notice as you're looking at it closer that you can still see a little bit of what they call the halo, which is the outside of the design. It's kind of a little clear lines that goes around the transfer. Now, that's not a problem. Um, we're going to apply a top coat of this product. It's the Fusion Beeswax Finish. And it's going to take care of that halo and it's going to give just a soft sheen over this Bayberry. This is my top coat of choice when I'm working with darker colors in the Fusion line. I love it. So easy to use. We're going to go ahead and apply it to this and the rest of the dresser to finish it up. So the piece is all finished. We've got the new hardware on it. I finished putting the Fusion Beeswax finish over the whole piece and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think the addition of the transfer just to this top drawer just makes it a little extra special, gives the piece something that's really unique to help it stand out, um, be a gorgeous piece to tuck in an entryway or in a guest room or um, of course in a, in a bedroom, but I love using pieces like this that's just extra storage around the house. I think it's beautiful and it's got these nice deep drawers. It's gonna make somebody very, very happy. So, um, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that this gave you a little bit of confidence, maybe to try a transfer yourself, answered a couple questions, um, just gave you a better idea of kind of how they work. If you have more questions or thoughts, please share them in the comment section. I'm happy to answer as well as I can. Like I said, I do have this design available in my online store. It's called the Alberry Transfer. The link is in the description of the video, as well as this beautiful Fusion Mineral Paint Color Bayberry. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. We've got furniture painting. Um, we have thrift hauls, antique booth stuff. We just do a lot of stuff over here. I'd love to have you a part of the Lost and Found family. So you guys are fantastic. Everybody have a great week and I'll see you soon.